extremely proud of this team. The challenge uh, against Fresno is immense. Uh, the pressure they were able to apply, they changed up the way they wanted to trap. Rather than trying to trap us in the back court, they trapped us in the front court. And we had to change some things offensively so we had people in position to attack. At halftime, I looked at the stats, and we shoot 50%, and they shoot 35, and we're only up seven. And that, you know, you start worrying about you're shooting that well, and you can't get some distance between you and your opponent. So I give credit to Fresno. And then uh, in the third quarter, we started making shots. We attacked differently, made some adjustments at halftime, went to inside more. And the thing I like is with traps, with zone traps, pressing, uh, we only took 15 threes. And sometimes we settle in where we shoot 25 to 30, and we made a real effort to take the ball inside and make some decisions inside. And when you take a look at 22 to 27 assists to field goals, we were finding the open people. I thought Taylor Russ gave us a big lift today. Uh, for her to go five of seven from three, seven of 10 total for, uh, I think, a career high with 19 points. That's a great effort because we were able to find Taylor against when we broke the pressure. And that was something that the first time we played, we were just happy to break the press and not attack the press. Today, I thought we attacked uh, the pressure and uh, we delivered and the players delivered. Uh, Bailey Cotton had a huge game for us. Uh, 12 rebounds, 19 points as well. I thought we really did a good job on the inside, got off to a good start, played with a lot of confidence. And so there's a number of players continue to step up, and it's not only on the offensive end. I thought Slajana did a great job defensively. Uh, when Candace White uh, starts knocking down threes, uh, you got to worry and keep the ball out of her hands. You can't think you're going to now defend her. And a uh, tremendous player that's able to get rolling from three, attack you off the dribble, and I thought Slajana did a good job to try to disrupt some things. We never slowed her down but we tried to disrupt some things. So there's a lot of uh, happy players today. They really stepped up and a happy coach. Joe, you always say against the zone, especially a trapping zone, you gotta be you gotta be smart, but you gotta be a little quick. You, you guys feel like you had the right rhythm against their zone? In the second half, I thought mm -hmm. we did. In the first half, uh, we started in one offense and we did okay, but then when they started trapping us, we were in the wrong offense. We, we, had, we were too spread out. And so then we made our adjustments, and I really thought in the second half, with the change of the offense, we really attacked them, got the ball in a position that we needed to, and once again, made the right decision on the inside uh, with Liv and Bailey, and that was really important to become aggressive. And we were able to do it with Clara being in foul trouble. Uh, she's the one that can dribble out of traps. Mm -hmm. Everyone else cannot dribble out of traps, and that creates some issues for us. With that trap, is that something that was a little bit of a surprise, or have you seen that much no, on their film? And we stuff? we yeah. knew it was coming. Uh, we thought it would be a little more around half court mm -hmm. rather than so much in the front court, and so we had to make that adjustment. And you know they do a good job with it. They can put a lot of pressure on you, and because we have the ability to shoot threes, you know a lot of people don't like playing zone against us or trapping us because we'll find open shooters. And uh, I thought for today, Taylor and Marta. When you take a look at that, they go seven and 10 for three. We were finding the right people today to shoot the ball. Joe, you haven't, your teams haven't always responded well to physical play, it, but yet this team has this year. What's what's maybe a little different about this team? This I year? think, you know, the, the, we got a couple players that uh, play with a little edge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you take a look at Bailey, you take a look at Lips, LaJana, Clara. Uh, physicalness doesn't bother them. In fact, they like being in a physical game. And so that's something that's important, and I think that's something that's changed. Uh, uh, there's no doubt when Liv's gone, we're going to lose that. But uh, it's nice to know that Clara Bailey and Slajana are still around because they do play with that same edge. Your ninth 21 season in 15 years, what does that kind of tell you about where this program's at? Well, thanks for letting me know that. I'd have never known <laughs> that. Uh, I'm always just worried about <laughs> today's game. And uh, I'll leave that up to you guys. But, uh, you know, there'll be a time uh, when this is all over. But uh, I'll, I'll probably remember that, David, and think back about that. Uh, we've had a lot of good kids play here. And so many kids buy in to what we talk about. And that's the big part. Uh, you know, sharing the basketball, 22 assists on 27 field goals. 
that's not unusual for us. And uh, everybody has to give up a little bit of their game for the betterment of the team. And I think I've been able to have that over years. So if you tell me it's nine out of 15, I'll believe that. I would have never known that. But uh, it says I've had a lot of good players that have bought into what we're doing. And uh, I've learned a long time ago, this game's about players and, and fitting in and doing what is asked of them. And the ones that accept that really seem to excel in the way I like to play. So we gave you about 15 minutes to celebrate this one. We I'm move on to, to next I'm week. I'm going to talk to everybody tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> because as, as I tell my radio guy, Reese Monica, who's one of the best in the business, I tell him, enjoy today, and we'll go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> so I will definitely call you tomorrow, <laughs> and I'll get information out, and you can work it through Amy. Fair but enough. I'll talk to everybody tomorrow because uh, I'm going to enjoy this one today also. This, this was one that had me worried. Uh, <laughs> as soon as we played New Mexico and that one was over, I worried about <laughs> Fresno for the last 72 hours. And uh, before that was New Mexico, and I'll start worrying about Air Force as soon as I walk away from here. <laughs> Coach, I think Bailey matched career highs in points and, and rebounds today. Did you know that you know, you'd know you need a pretty big performance with what you guys wanted to do on the inside yeah, today? Yeah, really did. Uh, when you want to attack on the inside, it's one thing to have to be able to deliver on the inside. Mm -hmm. And the ball was going to go to Bailey and to live. And we knew that, and they had to step up. And when you take a look at the Bailey was 6 of 11, so she shoots about 54%. Live seven for 12. She's in that number. They really delivered. And uh, like I said, that was important today for us because we knew we did not want to settle for 25 threes. We did that out of Fresno and we only scored 47 points. That could not happen again today. So I was very pleased. And Bailey finished and played, as I said, very physical and uh, made a lot of big plays and then stepped up at the free throw line.